Hey guys, this is Michal from mvbootstrap.com and in today's video we are going to learn about Bootstrap footer. Footer is an important part of any website and serves as additional navigation. It is especially crucial in huge portals with a complex navigation and hundreds of links and pages, like for example our website MD Bootstrap. The problem is, the official Bootstrap documentation does not contain a footer component. But do not worry, we've prepared for you a great resources, an extensive documentation with multiple examples of footer usage, a footer generator when you can generate the footer you like, and even predefined templates which you can download and use for free. As always, I am using Material Design for Bootstrap, which is free UI kit that greatly extends bootstrap capabilities so to follow this tutorial go to mdbootstrap.com click big red download button once again unzip the package and open it with your favorite code editor. I am using Visual Studio Code. At the beginning, open index.html and remove the existing content. Then open it in your browser and now we can start code go to mdbootstrap.com and in the search box type footer here as you can see we have a multiple examples of footer usage actually footer is a very simple component uh, but it can has a lot of options so We'll start with a basic example, so let's copy this code and then let's paste it to our project. Now let's have a look at this example. As you can see, we are using a bootstrap grid inside the footer. So here is our container, row and three columns inside. Within the first column there is a simple text and two other columns contain a simple links. And below them there is a copyright section. And here we can find interesting concept. As you can see, we apply an RGBA color to the copyright section. And thanks to this we can also apply some level of transparency. Here this fourth parameter allows us to decide uh, about the level of transparency. So for example if I change this to 0.9 you can see it's almost black. With 0.5 it's, it's not that dark and with 0.1 it's uh, almost transparent. So thanks to this Whatever color we apply to our footer, it will be always compatible with our copyright section. So, for example, let's change this BG light color, which applies this uh, light gray color to the footer. Let's change it now to, let's say, primary. And as you can see, let's Add text white for a proper contrast. As you can see, the footer has a primary color, but the copyright section also has the shade of this blue color. A slightly darker, but it's still compatible with the uh, whole conception. So if I change it to BG Danger, you can see what I'm talking about. 
And as you can see, the text inside the footer changed the color to white, but the links are still black. So to change the color of the links, we need to also change this class. So let me replace text dark with text white. And here we go. This is how it should look like. Let's have a look at other options. Here below the basic example, you can find an advanced example. And it's um, used in a dark theme. So you can see all the elements are white and adjusted to the dark background so not only the text not only the links but also form buttons and social buttons below we have a supported content and here are a multiple examples and by supported content supported content means that if you use any of this subcomponent you have a guarantee it will work without any troubles within the footer. So, uh, copyright section we've already used, the same links, text, so it's nothing new. Here is an example how to add an images to the footer. So, let's copy this and see how this works. And all, every image has this nice ripple effect typical for material design. You can also find an example how to add an iframe to your footer, how to use icons, social icons, dark theme icons, call to action forms, how to apply a dark theme uh, and use it with your forms and many other examples. What's more interesting is how to apply a color to the footer. So basically you have two options. The first option use is to use a standard color palette of MD Bootstrap. So in the basic palette you have eight color at your disposal. So whatever now let's have a look at this so for example if we remove this inline style and we apply class bg secondary you can see we have applied this color to our footer so we can use any of them and the usage of this is very very simple but if we need more advanced option we can uh, always apply inline style so for example let's copy this and if we want to apply an inline style we need to remove color class first. So if we add this, now we can see it changed the color. If you want to play with colors, you can also use our generator. So here is an example of the footer and here you can see how it looks with different colors. If um, you change the color to uh, some dark shade, you should always remember to change the color of the elements to white. So here you can check these options and now it will look okay. Generator allows you to play with uh, different options of the footer so you can add a different subcomponent just by checking this checkbox 
and you can of course change the color as you wish and you can decide if the content should be left aligned if it should be always center or if it should be center only on small so for example right now it's left aligned but if we change the size of the window you can see now is center so very useful combination so whatever footer you generate later you can just click this copy button and then add the generated footer to your project link to the generator can be found at the top of the footer documentation here all right let's have a look at more advanced option of the footer so here is a section about alignment so we've already talked about it by default all the sub components are left aligned but we can easily center it by adding text center to the footer element or we can add text center and text md start for example which will center the content only on smaller screens and to be specific the breakpoint md means that it will center the content if the screen size is uh, smaller than 768 pixels let's have a look at the next section and it's probably the most common question about bootstrap footer so how to fix the footer to the bottom so here we can see an example and uh, the solution is very simple we just need to add a fixed bottom class to the footer element and thanks to this our footer will be always fixed to the bottom of our screen so let's have a look at the demo and here you can see when we scroll the footer is still visible so we can just copy this code and let's replace the existing footer with this new one and here you can see it's fixed and because we don't have any content here there is no scroll so we cannot see the effect of a sticky footer but we can for example add uh, some div and we can add inline style with high 3000 pixels and now we can see the scroll and when we scroll the footer is still visible and it's always fixed to the bottom very useful stuff and if you want to learn more about bootstrap position utilities you can read docs here in the utilities section and position page so a lot of useful solutions that can be applied to any bootstrap component so the last thing i wanted to talk about is a collection of our bootstrap footer so if you scroll up to the top of the footer docs here you can see this note and here is a link and here you can find an impressive collection of bootstrap footer so if you like any of this footer you can just click on this and you can copy the code and paste it to your project
let's have a look at another one so let's say this one and the same so you can copy this with a container or just copy the footer container is just for a demo purpose to provide some nice margin for this demo boat if we uh, remove these classes you can see that the footer will be stretched full width so it's up to you how to how you want to use the footer so let me just add this and you can see everything everything works out of the box and actually that's it about the footer it's a very simple component so there is no need to elaborate on this topic too much anyway i hope you found this video useful and now you know how to use footer in your project and you also know where to find a useful resources about this component thank you for watching this tutorial and do not forget to subscribe to our channel because we publish a useful video every few days thank you thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial